Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and I definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family, thank you so much for just opening up and just you know learning more about yourself educating yourself on more things that you know about your gift and you know adding it towards something that you're going to need probably right now or in the current future so with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you've been watching my videos for a while and have not already what are you waiting for like and subscribe even hit that notification bell so you know when i'm about to upload my next video and if you feel like you're comfortable enough please go ahead and drop me a line or two I love to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me, or even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video, or you're, you're just opening up and telling me about your empathic gift and how has it impacted your life and, you know, turned it around and headed you towards a positive direction. And if you feel like the video gave you good vibes or just good insight and you would love to share it, please go ahead and do so. And while you're at it, go ahead and give me a thumbs up and like and even share on your social media favorites. So thank you so much for stopping by my channel. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video today. This beautiful flute music, you know, I'll tell y'all about that flute. The flute and the piano is just something I really love to hear in a meditation uh, video. And this one I'm listening to today is called Inhale Positive Energy, Exhale Negative Energy Med Meditation, Music, Yoga, Healing Music. You know, that's really, you know, especially when you're going through stuff, that's some stuff that you really need to listen to. But anyway, my video today is about Twin, twin Flame 101 Empaths. Build a, you know, a strong foundation for yourself. It's just like when we, you know, we're all going through our faces in life where we're changing, we're growing in ways, you know, that, you know, we we probably only imagine or probably didn't even know we we're heading towards. And it's just like we're surprising ourselves every day. And, you know, sometimes when you're going through things, you know, I say that a lot because I know a lot of us are going through some really bad hardship. And, you know, we when it's like times of despair or times of stress, we will want things to be you know, sped up, and I'm like, speed it up, sped up, <laughs> sped up, but um, when you're going through things, you tend to want things now, like you want it microwave to you, you want it, you know, five seconds or less, and it's just like, we can't have things like that, you know, and it's just like, even it's hard to admit for myself, and I feel that way, but I'm right there in the same boat with you, you know, and it could be you know, never know. It could be a financial situation. It could be a spousal situation or just life in general. You know, you're just dealing with life <laughs> and that's enough <laughs> on top of everything else, which you, you know, being a light worker and doing the things that you're doing, trying to improve yourself. You know, we, we have our drawbacks, you know, and it, it could be because of the things that you're going through and it, you know, and healing from a lot of painful things, it could be hard as well. But, you know, that's the, the change we eventually need to go through. And it's just like there's sometimes, you know, especially, you know, when you're struggling with addiction, like as in me, you know, I don't like to feel things. You know, I just want them to be removed. You know, you just don't want to feel things like that anymore. And it's just like you're you're helping other people and you're feeling each and every emotion. It's just like so many shifts we have had. It's like, it seems like our, whatever gifts we have is, has, it has heightened, it seemed like to me, you know, and I'm just like, why I feel each and everything, I don't know what that is, I, I, you know, I'm doing like I tell y'all, when I start feeling things different, like, it, it, stuff start feeling different to me and I can't explain it. I mean, I, I started looking up on stuff. I started studying up on things, and it's just like, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and put it out there and see if somebody else is going through it. But, yeah, it's just like we have to be preparing ourselves for that. You know, while you're waiting on things to blossom for you, you know, especially if you feel like you're in a rut or stagnation or things are starting to turn around for you, but they're not turning around into pace that you would truly desire for him to be, you know, that is our time to be able to 
improve the things that we need to improve about ourselves, you know, um, things that we, we recognize that, you know, needs to be let go or needs to be, uh, addressed, you know, things that needs to be changed or there's more things that you need to add towards your life. And, you know, it's just like you we work so hard, <laughs> you know, it's not just you, it's not just me, but us as empaths, especially us as, you know, Hayokas, um, we all as individuals are going through some tremendous, like, transformation in a beautiful way, and sometimes it can be scary if you don't know what you're going through, you know, because it was like when I first started this and going through all these emotions, I knew I was different. I just never knew why. But it was just like certain up. It would be other people that would be like minded like me that, you know, when I start doing this, the things start coming back, you know, memories start coming back where, you know, certain things were said to me. And I'm just like, why did you say that? And it's just like, I don't know. But, you know, I needed to say this to you, you know, or I had a friend that passed away like I think it was about a year yeah it was last year a year or two and he had told me many years ago that you know there's something very special about you and I thought he was trying to flirt I'm like <laughs> I'm like look man stop telling me stuff like that he said no for real I really think that you're gonna do something you're gonna impact the world in such a beautiful way I don't know what it is about you but you have this special light on you like there's a guardian angel on, over you and it's like he was deep into his you know his spiritual stuff like that so it was like he he helped me with a lot of things and you know and I still think of him from time to time like he'll pop up in my memory and I know he's just stepping in to say hey you know he said didn't I tell you about that I say yeah I remember that from you know a few years ago you know and I always held him dear to my heart but you know when we're going through things and you really need that strong foundation about yourself because it's just like it's in life it, it's just like you getting a house you know good and well you are not gonna move into no house that is not sturdy you know you have children you might have grandchildren you might have expensive stuff <laughs> you know you got a two-story house and that mess look like if somebody sneezed past gas or the wind blew the wrong way you're not going to want to go into that house. You want to go into something that you and your family feel safe and secure in. Where you know it's not going to fall apart. It's not going to crack and, you know, you know, dump down on you. So that's just like as in life itself. You have to have that strong foundation about yourself. Even when it comes to relationships, you know. Some of us are, we feel lonely. And we want to be in relationships. But around that time, you want to be in relationships. You should not be able to... You, you should not be wanting to fill a void, you know, and I'm not talking about feel like F-E-L-L. -L. I'm talking about feel as F-I-L-L. -L. You know, some people go around when they're missing something from themselves and they go searching through it, you know, through sex or, you know, jumping in from in and out of dates and stuff like that. And that's why I just keep to myself because... If I know if I'm healing and working on myself, I'm not even going to be any good <laughs> you know, trying to date anybody, especially if I'm trying to heal with myself. It's always nice to have friends, you know, I may, you know, excel on or something like that. But when you're like wanting something as in a relationship or a companion, you have to be able to be able to bring stuff to the table as well as, you know, them as well and be able to have that good self-esteem about yourself that self-respect self-love because if you don't have all those things and you're you know you're trying to search for something that you need to find within yourself you're never going to be satisfied and I've said that before you know and a lot of people are you know I you know when people ask me you know are you single you know you know how do you do that and it's just like if you so determined and you know what you want in a relationship and what you're not going to deal with and what you are going to accept and what you will sacrifice, then you know, you already know if you can't have it in none of these people, they are not going to work for you. <laughs> you're going to keep finding that you're going, and you're going to keep finding those problems when, you know, you don't recognize them. So, you know, make sure you have that foundation for yourself. You know, heal if you need to heal. Better yourself where you need to better yourself at. As in for relationships, you know, you need to make sure you love yourself first. And then the right person will come back and love you too.
So I will talk to you later. Much love to you. And, you know, send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. Like and subscribe. And drop me a line. I really love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Even if it's about your impact, the gift, and how it impacted your life. And give me a thumbs up. And like and even share on your social media favorites. Know that you are blessed, highly favored, and truly loved. And people are praying for your better days. And I will see you on my next video. Much love and light to you. Peace and be wild.